back pay of SNAP benefits, otherwise known as food stamps, for the low income. I have all the details and exactly what you need to know right here in the video. Let's get right into it. All right, now, as I just mentioned, this video is dedicated to SNAP benefits, also referred to as food stamps, sometimes called EBT, or formally called Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, and the over 43 million people who rely on these benefits every single month. Well, I do want to talk about and focus on back pay for these monthly benefits and the millions of beneficiaries and some changes that recently went into play that allow you to dip into back payments on these actual benefits. However, I also want to throw this out there really quickly. These changes that went into play, yes, was relatively recently, but they're also coming to an end relatively soon as well, unless we get more action out of lawmakers. And as you've heard me say before, we can't really rely on a whole lot of anything out of them these days. Therefore, we need to anticipate these changes will probably come to an end when this actually comes into play. So again, I want to talk you through all the details about this. And if this actually comes into your situation, how you can jump in and get this back pay of your SNAP benefits, food stamps, EBT, supplemental nutrition assistance program, whatever you want to call it, it's all referring to the exact same thing. Let's get into it. We have a lot to talk about here in the video. However, really fast before we do, I have a goal here on the channel, which is 1 million subscribers. Now I know as of right now, we are a long way from that, but I want to say this much as well. I am beyond grateful for every single one of you here in this community who watch these videos and who subscribe by hitting that button right down below. So if you have not done so yet, if you want to help achieve the goal here on the channel, and again, so we have more influence and impact going forward, especially when we reach out to all these lawmakers asking them to do stuff for the low income and fixed income, make sure to subscribe down below. It's totally free to do so. The big subscribe button and also share this video with your friends, family, social media. Again, it gets this valuable information out to those people and it helps get this information out to other people here on YouTube as well as they serve this information to more people. So again, thank you so much for your continued support. I really, really do appreciate it. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And oh, one more quick side note. See the little plaque behind me right up here? <laughs> that, that silver one? When there's 1 million subscribers, guess what? We get to add another one to that little collection there, a gold one. And let's be real, who doesn't love a little bit of gold, right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for your support. I really do appreciate it. Please subscribe down below and let's get into it and talk about the details of back pay for SNAP beneficiaries, what you need to know about this, the changes that went into play, as well as when these are coming to an end unless we get more action, okay? All right, so here's what it comes down to. So there's some changes that went into play about a year ago. Again, I know that sounds like, wait, I thought you said relatively recently. You're right. This is uh, about a year ago, but at the same time, guess what? We've never seen anything like this before in the history of SNAP benefits, okay? So it's kind of a big deal. However, they're also ending uh, kind of soonish as well. Now, it's the ending of these is relatively, you know, months out from now, but at the same time, it's also not that far away, okay? It's gonna come fast. And again, you wanna make sure to take advantage of this. All right, so here's the whole situation. As of recently, as in the last few years, there's been a lot of different things going on. I'm just gonna say it how it is, okay? I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. I'm gonna say exactly how it is. Here's what's happening. Unfortunately, there are people out there taking advantage of and trying to get money from low income and fixed income beneficiaries, okay? We know the situation. This is a super sad situation. This is the reality of what's going on, okay? These individuals, low income and fixed income beneficiaries are literally being targeted because of uh, basically inefficiencies with different things that go on with your fixed income benefit, okay? Again, I told you, I'm gonna tell you how it is and this is what's going on. So here is what is going on here. Okay, so when you go to your grocery store or let me give you another quick example. When you go to a gas pump, now obviously you can't use your EBT to fill up your car with gas. It'd be <laughs> it'd be nice, but it <laughs> you can't do that, okay? <laughs> but this is an example of what's going on here. So. Uh, you've probably heard about this with your local news or maybe you've read about it or maybe you've heard me talk about this, but this is something that's been going on for a long time. And as of recently, it's been a lot more common. But when you go to your grocery store and you go to the checkout counter, usually there's that little kiosk thing, right? It's about, I don't know, maybe that big or so. It sits there on your side of the counter and you swipe your card in it, right? Your credit card, your EBT card, your debit card, whatever it happens to be. And you type in a little pin number, right? Well, unfortunately, people are putting these little skimming devices on those little kiosks, and they're also doing them on gas pumps and all kinds of stuff like that. Now, again, uh, the reason I gave you the gas pump example is because that's where you typically hear about it, is on gas pumps. However, they're showing up in grocery stores 
uh, on very commonly as of recently, okay? So what's happening is when you swipe your card, this little skimming device collects all the data off of it. When you type in your PIN number, well then they collect that as well, okay? So here's what's happening. When these people get this information, as soon as the card is reloaded with money, they come in and they take it all away, okay? Not fair, not a good situation. So when the beneficiary, maybe you, who has an EBT card, goes to the grocery store to buy the necessary groceries for maybe you and your spouse or you and your kids or you and your family, whoever you're buying for, well, then you go to the checkout counter and realize, wait, where's my money? I just got reloaded yesterday. It's all gone. I didn't spend it. What happened to it, right? Well, then it's all gone as some other guy is sitting there with your money that they've taken off your card wrongly, right? All right, so long story short, they have some measures in place now that allow you to go in and actually start getting this money back, okay? Let me tell you the timelines on this. Let me tell you what lawmakers did about this and how you can actually get some of this money back. So like I said before, uh, up until these new changes that went into effect about a year ago, in fact, in December of 2022 is exactly when this uh, was passed through Congress and it actually was retroactive back to October 1st of 2022. However, it's going to an end, or it's, sorry, that didn't really make sense. It's going to end uh, the end of September, 2024, okay? So that's just, I mean, seriously, I know it's still a long time from right now, but it's, honestly, it's only months away, okay? It's going to be coming relatively fast here, unless they extend it out yet again. So basically what happens is if your benefits were wrongly taken from you, basically anywhere between the time frame of October 1st, 2022 through September 30th, 2024, then you can actually get these benefits reinstated as in back to you, okay? Now, here's the thing. Prior to this piece of legislation passing through, basically all they did to you is if you had your benefits wrongly taken from you, they'd say, sorry, tough luck. We can't do anything. Have you been in that situation? Yeah, they couldn't have done anything. Now they can reinstate at least some of those benefits. Now, it depends on how much were actually taken from you. In some instances, they can give all of it back. In some instances, they may only be able to give a portion of it back, but I guess it's better than nothing, right? And it wasn't that long ago, only, you know, a little, about a year ago or so, give or take a little bit, uh, was the last time that they could basically say, hey, sorry, we literally can't do anything, but now they can reinstate some of this. So this is good. Now, here's what I want to do for you. I want to give you a phone number, okay? This is a... Uh, it's a 1-800 number. You can call it and it'll connect you with your local office. If you feel that anything like this has happened to you, as in your benefits have been wrongly taken from you, please call your local office immediately. Tell them exactly what happened and they may have you go through a process of, you know, legitimizing everything that happened and then getting those benefits reinstated for you. It's going to take a little bit of time, but go through this process. If something is wrongly taken from you, you should be reinstated, okay? Those benefits should be given back to you. Now, the phone number is 1-800-221-5689. I literally just called it right before uh, uh, making this video. And again, I've called that video, or sorry, I've called that phone number a few times in other videos, and it's just an automated system. Basically, what they do is they say it's a, you know, it's a number for the SNAP benefit program, and they will connect you with your local office. You need to stay, say what state you're located in when it asks you. It'll say, what state are you located in? And you say, I'm in Florida, I'm in Texas, I'm in New York, I'm in California, I'm in Washington, whatever. Just say the state you're located in, and then they will connect you with your local office. Again, the number is 1-800-221-5689. Again, 1-800-221-5689. 5689. Again, it's an automated system. You won't need to talk to somebody right away, so don't worry. You can call, and it's just that automated system. It'll connect you with your local office. But this is what happened here. So this is some new legislation. Again, as of about a year ago, we've never seen anything like it before. They've never reinstated benefits prior to this passing through. This is in play. It's not uh, It's not a proposal. It's not a you know a, a, something that's floating around out there saying, well, we might get to it someday. No, this is out there. It is already a thing. Uh, they passed it through and this is out there. But remember, it's ending the end of September 2024, okay? So take that into consideration as well, unless they extend it again. But this is in the event that somebody comes in. Now, another thing that I want to urge you to do, 
watch your benefits closely. I know that a lot of you have the, the app where you can watch your SNAP benefits, okay? You can check that out. If you're not a, you know, a smartphone or an app type of person, that's totally fine too. Just make sure to keep an eye on your benefits. If anything looks suspicious, report it immediately to your local office. The sooner that you can catch something like this, the sooner that you can report something like this, suspicious activity, the better off you're gonna be, okay? If you wait a month, if you wait three months, if you wait six months, it might be a little bit harder, <clears throat> excuse me, it might be a little bit harder at that point, okay? Just report anything as soon as you possibly can, as soon as you get that information, but watch it on your app, you know, call the 1-800 number, things like that, just keep an eye on your benefit. If, look, if anything looks weird like, hey, I just had $220 yesterday, I didn't spend anything and now it's gone, hmm, seems a little fishy to me, right? Yeah, report that immediately. So anyway, they're gonna ask you some questions, they're gonna have you go through some records and stuff like that, but it'll all be worth it. They may even issue you a new EBT card. But again, that's going to be dependent on the situation and what actually happens. Just continue to watch that. Anyway, I hope this helps you. Again, I want to point this stuff out. I know, um, you know, it's it's been a little while since this was passed through, but again, it's also going to be ending, you know, relatively soonish as well. If we can get benefits reinstated, it's definitely worth it, right? Anyway, please leave your comments, your questions, your feedback down below. Otherwise, subscribe down below. Totally free to do so. And before long, you know, we'll have one of those gold uh, play buttons, the gold plaque, like, you know, back there. <laughs> well, we'll have a gold one someday. Uh, I know it's still a ways away, but again, like I said, I truly do appreciate and I'm so incredibly grateful for every single one of you right here on the channel who watch these videos and continue to support the channel. I want to do whatever I can to be here for you every single day as your one and only daily advocate. So again, please subscribe down below, share the video with your friends, family, social media, go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel and also hit that like button down below, the thumbs up button. It helps other people find this valuable information. Otherwise, enjoy your day. Take care, have a good one, and catch you again later in this.